Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, as we live life, we run into so many different people. We'll see them in the store. We'll see them, uh, you know, uh, out in the community. Uh, we see folks all the time. Sometimes, you know, you see people that you haven't seen in a long time. Maybe you went to school with them. Uh, maybe you just have heard about them. I know when I go back to Spruce Pine, I see a lot of folks that I haven't seen in a long time. Some people I haven't seen in 20, 30 years. I mean, it's amazing. Some even more than that. And it's kind of amazing to kind of reconnect a little bit and kind of look at those folks and uh, those folks look at you and you think about this, that, and the other. I, I know when I was a kid and I was kind of a, a, a wild kid and my mom did the best she could do, but there wasn't really much that she could do with me. I didn't have a dad in my life and I was just kind of a wild kid. And I remember arguing with my mother standing up in front of her saying, these are my friends and I will be with my friends forever. And I would argue with my very mother about the bunch that I was running with. And, you know, I haven't seen many of those folks. And, gosh, I, you know, I hardly never see them now. But I, at that time in my life, I was willing to stand on the edge right up on my mother's toes and say, hey, these are my friends and I'm going to be with them forever. And uh, mom was trying to tell me that, uh, you know, that's not going to happen. But uh, you know how it is when you're a kid, you don't listen to anything. It brings me to Adam and Eve in the garden. You know, Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, I want you to know today is for you. Now, you know, in your life, when you find yourself with a lack of communication, you know, Adam and Eve, when they sinned, uh, they did not communicate with God. He came down looking for them in the cool of the day, and they hid. And there was no communication. There once was communication, but because of their sin, there was no communication. I want to tell you, when... When sin comes in your life and, and you don't communicate with God like you once did, He still cares for you. I, I want you to know that God is for you. And when that communication barrier came into place with Adam and Eve, what happened then is they broke their fellowship. There was no fellowship then because the communication had been interrupted. And that's very important that you understand today. Maybe you're in the situation where that your communication has been interrupted. Now your fellowship's interrupted. I mean, you and God are not on the same page. I mean, you want to be on the same page, and you and you hope to be on the same page, but because of something that's happened in your life, uh, because of a communication error, and now you can't communicate with God the way you should because of sin, and now, of course, there's no fellowship. And then what that brings, that brings us uh, the presence of fear, because now we're afraid, because we're wondering, God, do you love me? God, are you going to leave me? God, are you going to be with me? God, are you there? Lord, are you really there? Because now we're scared to death because of what's happened and our communication lines are not open. Our fellowship lines are not open. And now we're fearful because we're afraid God's going to leave us. Let me tell you something this morning you need to know. God is for you. God is on your side. Anytime that you break fellowship, anytime you break communication, anytime fear sets in your life, you've taken a step away. You've taken a step away. You know, the devil is a master deceiver, and what he does is he comes to us and he tries to remind us of things that happened in our life that thrilled the flesh, that thrilled the flesh, or things that we have blown or messed up that we have missed the blessings of God for that event. So what the devil's job is, is to bring to memory. Oh, do you remember that time when you, you guys were doing this and that? Do you remember that time, all oh, that great party you had, all that stuff? Remember all those drugs? Remember all that stuff? Remember all those rock and roll concerts, all that stuff? Or do you remember when you were walking so close with God and you were reading your Bible all the time and you were, you were just the best Christian that you could be and you were given of your offering and you were given of yourself and now all that's gone? Well, that's what his job is. He's to remind us of things that have happened in the past and try to discourage us. I want to tell you, when that happens, when you go through your mind remembering all those things, good or bad, I want to tell you, God's with you. God, God's right there with you. When, 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 when you are in the midst of the power of depression, because perhaps you've done something, the communication line has been broken, you have done something, the fellowship has been broken, you have done something and fear has set in, your memory takes you back to uh, old times, good or bad, walking with God or not. And now depression has set in as you sit and say, how could God possibly be with me? Why would God be with me? Well, I want to tell you something today, that God is for you, and you need to know that. You need to believe that. You need to trust that. The cry in the manger gave hope to the tomb. The cry in the manger. 
gave hope to the tomb that Jesus resurrected from. And the, and the, the, the tomb provides peace for the journey. The fact that Jesus got up gives us the peace that passeth understanding that we can go and we can go and we can be blessed. Listen, today, God is for you, no matter what. Now, he wants you to come to him under his circumstances, his conditions, because they're right. They're right. They're not grievous. They're not burdensome. They're right, and you need to come his way. But I want to tell you, no matter where you are in your journey today, he's for you. He loves you, and he cares for you. Come to the Father. If you're with the Father, rejoice and try to lead someone else back to his side where you're standing. We are, very importantly, to encourage each other, lift each other up, and to know for sure that God is on my side and I desire to be on God's side. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.